This is uh, 2 Timothy 2 and 1. It says, Thou therefore, my son, be, be strong in the grace that is in Mashiach, I was shy, and all the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men who should be able to teach others also. So the Lord gave you this so you could be found faithful and to teach others also, man. This is a mighty labor. It says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Mashiach, I was shy. No man that wart entangled himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who have chosen him to be a good soldier. You know why the scriptures say, put off the weak nature, man. Yeah, we have afflictions, you know. We have adversities, mental adversities, mental afflictions, spiritual battles, you know, physical battles, physical ailments, abstaining from the flesh, you know. But this is what builds you up. This is what builds your character, you know. I was telling uh, one of the younger brothers the other day, we don't learn till we lose, you know. And I was All right, Shalom. This is your brother Nahal here from the GMS Orlando camp. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah, and a sincere salutation to all you Akim, who are preaching this word and believing this word, and to the Aquat, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Yahweh is the name of the one they ignorantly call God. Yahweh Shai is the name of the one they ignorantly call Jesus. Bahashem. Is in the name Raka is spirit Kodash is holy Akyam is brothers Akwat is sisters Shalawan means peace And Yasha Allah is Israel In the ancient Paleo-Hebrew This is Psalms chapter 100 And verse 2 And it reads Serve the Lord with gladness Come before his presence with singing Now I want to go into a lesson on this Through the spirit Just generally speaking And this lesson is for myself First and foremost you know, um, I was meditating on it because, you know, day to day, you know, we go through straits, you know, we go through certain situations, we're vexed, we're wore out, you know, but overall, we're in the best case scenario, you know, because we have a greater hope. Lord willing, we be a part of that number, you know, and I was just meditating within my own thoughts, you know, um, that it's easier for me to focus on the negatives than it is the positives. When you actually sit down and look at the positives through the spirit of Pavia by Shema you know, we are blessed beyond belief. You know, part of that is the flesh. You know, you're tired, you're groggy, you know, you never have enough time. You, you never feel like you never have enough ends and meat and all of those cases. But through it all, the Lord always provides for us, you know, and it's easy to take that for granted by focusing on all the issues that you find in your life. All right. This reminds me of a conversation I was having with the uh, head of Florida, the uh, beloved brother, a uh, lawyer, you know, and he was talking about these uh, similar situations. And he was like, you know, the Lord ultimately told us this ain't our shit. You know, you know, you you take it serious when it's yours, when it belong to you. And this ain't our kingdom. You know, the things that we possess, we're not going to go into the kingdom with it. All right. And it's because we're in those day to day situations that we hold um, these things and have to deal with these things But ultimately This is not our rest All right. Psalms 103 reads Know ye that the Lord he is God It is he that made us And not we ourselves We are his people and the sheep Of his pasture Enter into his gates with thanksgiving And into his courts with praise Once you have this knowledge, wisdom and understanding You have entered into the courts Of the heavenly father be thankful unto him and bless his name You know, and I always liken it Unto a situation with a, a person You know, if you had a person That the only time they called you is when they needed you You know And the only time they called you was to complain about what you did Or what you didn't do You know, that would be a one-sided Relationship You know, now meanwhile The Lord is providing for us and taking care of us daily You know, if you want to find something To, to be upset about it's easy to do that, especially in this world. But when you look at what the Lord has actually done for us, Lord, when we be a part of that number, we're blessed beyond belief. You know, and as I was meditating on that within myself, you know, I figured through the spirit, I was inspired through the spirit to record and put this out there on wax through the spirit that it's heavy. But the Lord told us it would be heavy. You know, we, we suffer tribulations, but the Lord told us we will suffer tribulations, you know. This ain't our rest. So by default, we're restless in the world. We have peace of mind, 
but we're restless in the world. And the Lord told us that, you know, and it's a beautiful thing when you're able to be comforted by the scriptures and see these things and understand that the Lord told us these things. But at the same time, he comforted us. All right. Real quick. This is John. 16. I'm going to get the last verse. Verse 33. All right. It says these things I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace in the world. ye shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So that man, that's beautiful. Cause the Lord is basically telling us, like, look, yeah, it's gonna be tough in the world, but just know the world that you're living in and the world that you 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 facing tribulation in is temporary. Cause I've overcome the world that you're dealing with right now. Which means we ultimately have a greater hope. It makes me think about all the people that watch the news. You know, the, the, so like the Tucker Carlson, uh, Putin interviews get, getting ready to come out soon and how worried and frantic people are when they see certain things on the news. But you already know what's going on. You know, the Lord already told you what time it was. So when you see these things happen, you already understand what's happening and where it's going. A lot of people are watching these things happen on in Earth on the news. And they think somehow, some way, there's going to be a light at the end of the tunnel and this world is going to be fixed. Well, it's not going to be fixed because the Lord overcame it. All right. And ultimately, the Lord's coming to dismantle it. And when you know that you have a certain level of peace of mind. Most people in the world, they don't have that peace of mind. You know, as the scriptures say, all these things do the Gentile seek. But once you understand who you are through the spirit and what the Lord's intention is in the world, you are comforted by that. Now, again, the Lord says it's we're going to have tribulation in the world. So it's easy to find things that are wrong. All right. Things that are uncomfortable. Or I'll say things that are wrong in your sight. Things that should be fixed in your sight. It's easy to find those things. But the Lord said we would have tribulation. But if you focus for a moment on the things that the Lord has actually accomplished and done for you personally, getting you uh, from point A to point B, allowing you to still have your right mind and not to be cast away with all these different winds of doctrines, to still have the name of the Heavenly Father. When you look at those things, you're blessed beyond belief, especially compared to most of the people on the earth. Scriptures say, few shall be, few there shall be that find it concerning the straight gate. Now we know the straight gate is a point of difficulty, yet few find that. And at the same time, few find that hope. Few find that kind of joy. You have something that the world can't, that money can't buy, that the world can't access without the Heavenly Father's mercy. That's a blessing. All right, this is Ephesians chapter 5 and 15. All right, and it reads, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. And the Lord has given you a mind to understand what his will is. That is a blessing beyond belief. And of course, there are going to be problems that we face in this world. Yet through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, as the scriptures describe, we're more than conquerors. Through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right. So we have a lot more to look forward to than our current burdens. You know. But we're in this flesh, so it's natural that being in this flesh is, is shaping in iniquity, is shaping in rebellion, and you have to combat that with the spirit, you know? And like I said at the beginning of this lesson, this is for myself first and foremost, you know, because we all wake up and, you know, we go through certain situations. You got to go to work. You got to go suffer Edomites, you know, and this is vexing. Yet when you really zoom out from how you currently feel right now, and look at overall where the Lord is taking you and where he's taking you from. We're blessed beyond belief, man. All right. So Lord willing, this was edifying with that. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who are the elders of Yasha Allah. And a sincere salutation to all Yuakim, who are preaching this word and believing this word. And to the Aquath, who are believing this word in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom.